it's me, hi. Hey everyone, it's Nick Avocado. We're back home, my shoopy doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home, shoopy doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Not yet, but it will be, cause we're eating a massive feast. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on Broadway. <laughs> But I'm not. Hi, today we're gonna be eating a lot of food, but first I will be shouting you guys out and thanking you publicly, hopefully sending you some followers to your Instagram. For those of you who went to my brand new YouTube channel, it's called More Nicocado, because you can't have enough. <sighs> this double chin, I know, just excuse it. It's just water weight. It's actually just water weight, I swear. I know all about it. With sodium and sodium water retention, it's just sodium. Make sure you leave your Twitter or your Instagram or your Facebook or whatever you want so that some of my little sloths can come see you and follow you. Last time I did it, one girl got over 800 followers. I don't know why, but y'all did it. So thank you so much. So today I'm also going to be answering your questions from my Instagram. So there's me. Oh, you can't even see it. Well, just go to my Instagram. I posted this a couple days ago and I'm ready to read the questions. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to be. And I'm sure, well, I already know half of them are about me being skinny and everything, okay? Because um, I posted an older photo <laughs> back when I was about 100 pounds less. I have gained since I started this mukbang journey. Now, it's subjectable. It's, you know, debatable whether I was underweight when I first started. But I was about 100, though my lowest was 140-something. But I started this journey at 150s, 160s. So when my height should be like 180, 190. So... I think I was a little underweight. I didn't have any muscle. So, I mean, I didn't have any muscle, so yeah. But it might have been walking the line. So, whatever. I am now 270-ish. 275. I went, but I've plateaued. Girl, I have been the same weight for literally two years straight. I haven't gone up or down. Not like I'm trying to do well. You think I'm trying to gain weight. I eat all this food. But honestly, you guys, it just... Anyways, <laughs> look at me, I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think it's because of the song. I got so excited. I look at these scissors here. I really need to cut my hair. And I'm, but I, seriously, it's making me so upset. It kind of looks like, it go, it's not supposed, what's that mean? It go, why do you do like this? Go, don't go like this. It goes like this. It, oh, was it good? <laughs> well, shout out Nicole TV. What's her name? Nicole, Nicole something. Um. It's just too much, and it's starting to look like a poof, and I don't want a poofy on my head. So I really have to cut it, you guys. I'm cutting it today. Anyways, um, yes. Today, I'm really hungry. I hope you guys are doing well. I know everyone's kind of like sheltered and isolated and a little on edge, and I am so sorry. I tweeted a couple days ago, I'm like, I'm really sad for the world. I just... There's nothing I can do other than try to make you guys happy, try to distract you from reality, which hopefully I do already. You know, actually, the people who criticize all my breakdowns, they say, wow, I feel so much better about my life. <laughs> Watching him cry and shave his head, oh, I feel so much better about my life <laughs> when they watch me be crazy. So, and, you know, I know, you know, I'm trying to make you guys feel happy. I'm an entertainer, okay? So I really do want you guys to help escape your realities and, you know, put all your problems and struggles to the side while you come to my channel and say, oh, I'm entertained or, oh, I'm distracted or, oh, my life ain't that bad. <laughs> Look at him. So, you know what I mean? So honestly, during this time, I don't, I feel kind of guilty because I know food, people are kind of like, ah, they don't know if they can spend money, too much money on food. And I'm over here and my job is to eat. I mean, that's my whole career. I have like five YouTube channels. I'm an eater. Um, I eat, clearly. We've gained how many? Oh, let's do the math. Hey, Siri. She's not answering me. Hey, Siri. Hey. Excuse I hate the way you go, hmm. That's really disrespectful. You say, yes. there you go. I have a question for you. What is 275 minus 150? 275 minus 150 is 125. <laughs> Girl, that, those are pounds, just to let you know. Siri, is it okay to gain 125 pounds? Hey, Siri! She's not answering to me, and uh, look at my, ruin my camera. Hey, Siri, is it healthy to gain 125 pounds? I'm on it. You're on what? You're on what? 
Excuse me. Hey, Siri. Hmm? Am I fat? Yes. You are. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's calm down. Enough with the acting. You guys. I can still be dramatic if it's in a nice, funny way to entertain you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, Nick said he was gonna be all nice and, you know, nice, nice. I mean, I am nice, nice. I just, we're keeping to myself. I'm staying in my own lane. And honestly, oh, I just to let you guys know, I don't know if I want to talk about it publicly because we have been emailing and stuff, but I did send um, a couple letters to Divine Munchies and I apologized to her and I've been talking to her. Um, it feels really good, you know. So anyway. Um, shout out to Divine Munchies. We miss your YouTube videos. I don't know, she's not posting anymore. I feel like there's bug bites on me. Florida, you guys, it's what, spring now? Barely, it's like the first week of spring almost. When's the first day of spring? I don't know. I still felt, I thought it was winter still. Well, apparently it's springtime for a lot of people. And you know what? Florida is 85, well, here in Orlando. It's probably worse down in Miami, wherever, all those people at the beach. Oh, anyways, um, I feel like I've been talking too much. Let's go get some food. I'm really excited to eat and answer all your questions. And I hope that I can help distract you from your struggles and your fears and your reality just for a little bit. All right, that's my goal. I thought to myself, I said, I'm eating food on camera. I'm very blessed. How lucky am I to ha you know do something like this? Thank you guys for watching me too because you support me in that way. But I said to myself, I said, there's nothing I can do. I can't come up with a cure. I can't send out um, masks because I can't get, well, I have some, I have a, that gas mask that everyone made fun of me for on Instagram, but you know what I mean? Like, what can I do? I can't even touch people. I can't go out. And I thought to myself, and I talked to my husband about it, and I said, what, you know, how do I help people feel better about the, these trying times? Who knows if it's going to last a couple weeks, a couple more months into the summer? I don't know. And he said, just keep doing your thing, be yourself, and be consistent and show up. You know, because at the end of the day, people are stuck in their houses and they need company. And he's like, and you need company too. Which, oh, can I bring up my therapy sessions? I really don't want to get into too much of it. But I like it. And I just want to say, I thought by talking to the psychiatrist that I already know that I have issues. Or I already know, like, I, I'm one of those people that's like, <clears throat> I research and I feel like I know. But just to hear it from someone else can be so, and just to tell someone who is licensed to, the, her responses to me are like, I don't know, I just feel so much better. So I kind of want to encourage people to do that. Again, we're in trying times, you probably can't afford therapy right now. Uh, my, my insurance doesn't even cover it, I have to pay out of pocket. Um, it's expensive to be crazy in this country. It is expensive to be crazy. <laughs> Listen. Let's go get food. I feel like I'm done talking. This is my intro. I hope you like it. I have a clean tray. Actually, I want so much food, it might not even fit on this tray, girl. But we, I want to do Buffalo Wild Wings. I want to do Wendy's. I want to do McDonald's. I'm craving Taco Bell, and I'm craving something from Sonic. I don't know what, but we'll figure it out. I don't even know. We're just going to go driving around and see what's open. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. One, two, three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's bam together. <gasps> bam. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm feasting today. We have my Buffalo Wild Wings over here. We got my Buffalo Wild Wings over here. These are the garlic Parmesan. I'm so excited. This didn't even make the cut. I might edit. Nick, when you're doing this, edit this in here. Ooh. <gasps> We have so much food, I, oh my gosh. So we have a Big Mac over there. We got some Buffalo Wild Wings. Mmm, greasy cheese curds over here. Mm. <laughs> These are my favorite, oh my God. We got some Taco Bell nacho fries. Talk about Buffalo chicken nacho fries. We got some chicken nuggets from Wendy's. We got some fresh, still nice and, ooh, these are crispy. Mmm. These are from McDonald's. Sonic, we have this over here. These are my French toast sticks. These over here are my tater tots, which I love. And I have my signature sauce, which I love. Mmm. 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 I'm so excited. I'm also really happy today because I did a workout. 
I walked on the treadmill for 30 minutes. So this is to repay all that hard work. So what I'm gonna do is put this on camera mode so that you can see me. Oh, hi, see, it's a little faster. Do, 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 do. It did come with a power rate. Oh my gosh, so let me tell you a quick story. <coughs> I swear I'm not, okay. I am okay. It was just my spit, I'm so excited. I'm talking really fast. Ah, I'm not sick, I promise. Mm. <laughs> Nick, edit. actually no, leave that in. People are gonna be like, hey. Okay, so, when I first went to McDonald's, I'm taking my vitamins, when I first went to McDonald's, I made my order and I got a Big Mac and I wanted a medium fry. I didn't really want to drink. And they told me the order was like $7.50. So I was like, $7.50 for a sandwich and a small fry, or medium fry, wow. Fast food is not cheap. And then I got a call from Amazon. Let me tell you the story, it's pretty awful. Well, long story short, I had to do some yelling and calling the manager. And uh, we had to do a three-way three call with UPS. Ah, cheers to a wonderful eating show. Mm. Mm. And so I got out of the line after I made my order and I called and I talked for like 15 minutes. I'm like, well, let's go make my order again. Then I learned my lesson. I'm like, I'll take a number one, the Big Mac meal, medium meal. It came with a drink and it was like 30 cents cheaper or 20 cents cheaper. I'm like, why pay the same price? Anyway, let's start digging in. I'm so excited. Should I do my big deep three breaths? Big three, big, big dip, deep, deep three breaths for you? <laughs> Sorry, my big deep three breaths. That's a tongue twister, I'm not sure why. Let's put all our worries away, you guys. I just washed my hands. And um, let's relax together. I know there's a lot going on in the world. I'm here to help make you happy. Breathe in with me. Hold it. Hold it. And release. Oh my God, I feel better already. Breathe in. Feel those lungs nice and deep. Hold it. Hold it. And release. One last time, breathe in with me. Fill your lungs as deep as you can. More and hold it. Hold it. Hold it. It's gonna be okay. Whatever's going, I'm here for you. So, cheers to that. Cheers, and let's just start eating. Oh, we're done with the chit chat. Let's just start eating. Here, everyone that's like, he starts eating here. Here's your marker, here we go, cheers. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Crispy. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Next up. Oh. Sonic chili cheese tots. Look at that. You can open it up. Ooh. Chili cheese. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's plastic on here. On my fork still. Here we go. Oh. Mmm. Stop it. Stop it. Mmm. And I have ranch down here. <clears throat> Let me dip this in like this. Oh my god. I earned this meal. Let's go with my Taco Bell fries. Ooh, they're still crispy. <clears throat> oh my god, this is not my cheese. This is my special buffalo. <clears throat> this is my favorite dip in the world. Comes from Buffalo Wild Wings. It's called South Southwest Ranch. These cheese curds are to die for. Follow my Twitter at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. Mm. This is over a hundred dollars, by the way. <clears throat> and you're like, where'd you spend all your money? Back here. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings is expensive. Let's go for that right now. Mm. This here, I'll show you up close. This here is a spicy, this is a mild, mild boneless wing. Ooh, 
to me, it still tastes very spicy. I'm dip it in my ranch. Oh my god, let's go get Buffalo Wild Wings Ranch. I'll compare it to the McDonald's Ranch. I bet it's gonna be worlds apart. Mm. Hey, Orlin. I don't feel like getting up. It's too far. Spicy chicken nugget. Hey, Orlin. I'm a mm. spicy chicken nuggets. I'm gonna have to go get up. Orlin, baby. Snickerdoodle fluffer mumpkin. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna have to go get up now. But good, I can eat more. I burn more calories. Mmm. What's I gonna get? Oh, the ranch from Buffalo Wild Wings. I got my ranch on. I got my ranch. They have very good ranch. Okay, this is from Buffalo Wild Wings. First, let me taste the McDonald's one. Okay. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to do the Buffalo Wild Wings one. Mm. <laughs> it has more herbs, I think. Ah, oh, it is so good. Where's my? Oh, here. I was going to say, where's my fork? Oh, let's try. Let's try this one. So this here is Parmesan garlic, and um, I added. The, you remember how I bought extra sauce on the side? <clears throat> oh. These might be the most expensive thing on the menu, but they're very good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Oh my god. Stop it. Here we go. Garlic Parmesan. Boneless wing. I'm going to dip it into right here. Dip it in. Pull it out. I'm a king. I am feasting today. Feasting! Okay. <clears throat> I have to answer some of your questions for my Instagram. This is going to be a long video. I want to get into all the drama, all the tea, anything that people want to know. I'll do it. Today, I'm... Oh my god, my taco fries. Let's try everything first. Taco fries, okay? Mmm. These are one of the best things that they currently have. Mm. Mm. Just take a look at this. This goodness. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it too. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I am a happy camper today, everybody. <clears throat> put this on like this. Ooh, 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 I just squirted all over. The good thing to get into the camera lens. That would have been bad. Let's do one last one because we want it hot and steamy. Okay. Please don't go into the camera. Oh my god. I feel like I'm squirting everywhere. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. Okay. Look at this. Just look at this. Oh. Can you take it? Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> I also under ate yesterday. <clears throat> I think that's why I'm like so excited by this food right now. I didn't eat enough calories yesterday to support my body weight, so I was in a slight deficit. And before you're making fun of me, <laughs> well, I don't actually have an excuse, so here we go. <laughs> McDonald's, Big Mac, double meat, double cheese. Mm. <laughs> my baby, my precious. 
Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Everything I'm eating is so good. There's nothing bad right now. Usually there's something bad, you guys know. Tater tots. Tater tots with syrup are amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Stop it right now. Stop it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I promise I get some of the questions. I want to eat a little more of something. I like these, these almost, or little cheat curd things. A whole mouthful. Mm. I have my big one, <clears throat> in case you didn't know. Okay, let's see what you guys want to know. I'm enjoying this. I wish I could show them on the screen. So I have thousands of comments. So <clears throat> let's just go. Actually, let's see what the most liked ones are. How many years ago was this photo taken? Okay, hi Kate. The Kate's the photo was taken five years ago, probably something like. Wait, no, four years ago. Excuse me. I took it. In, oh gosh, I'm so gross. I took it in Bali, Indonesia. That photo on Instagram, and she said, "Dead." I know. I was a hundred pounds lighter. And, um, but you know what? I wasn't as happy. And just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy. I mean, obviously I'm not healthy now, but <clears throat> I've gone from one extreme to the other extreme. I need to bounce it out. Once I get out of my system, I'll find a happy medium. But until then, I'm gonna enjoy what I do. I don't feel good doing that. There are aspects of it that I did like. Um, I honestly, all I had to do probably was add in some fish and some red meat every now and then. Now I would have been healthier, but nah. I felt like trying something junky, which I hadn't had. You know what I mean? It's okay to treat yourself. Well, then, then turn into this. <laughs> I didn't think it would be. Mm. I'm enjoying the fresh rice. Okay, next question. <clears throat> comes from Isaren Vermon. She says, how do you feel about this whole situation? And she's talking about the Bud Light, the Bud Light thing. <clears throat> Can't say the word on YouTube, which is a shame. We should be able to talk about it and spread it, but nope. Demonetized. Oh, this cheese is really good right here. Ooh. Mmm. Honestly, I feel like it's a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. That we have to put more things in place for the next time something like this happens. Mm. This is so good. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Buffalo Wild Wings Ranch. I'm sorry, everybody. It's just so good. Please forgive me, I don't mean to be rude, but tonight, <clears throat> I'm eating poo. <laughs> I try to think of something that would rhyme that doesn't sound very good. Okay, next question. Avocados or Orlin? Hi, big brain, Brian Bib. Um, Orlin, I would choose, if I could ever have an avocado again, I would be okay as long as I still have Orlin in my life, and that's how much I love him. Mm. <laughs> Let me think about this. No, yeah, I would choose. I'd be sad, but... Mm. 
Daisy Marnet says, were you happy now or happy when you were skinny? <clears throat> There's pros and cons to each. I definitely was in such a restrictive mode back then that I was unhappy with, could I go out to eat? Could I be with a friend, watch them eat something that I didn't want to eat? <laughs> it really messed up my head. Someone like myself does not do well on that. Um, Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, I was skinny, but there's pros and cons to each. Okay. <clears throat> Do you miss being skinny? This comes from Nicole. Everyone's talking about my weight. I knew it. Let's skip those questions. Um, how are you going to get food when most places are closed? This comes from Jack. Well, all of this was open. Here in Orlando, we're not in kind of like forced shutdown. And even the forced shutdowns, I'm pretty sure, could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that they did, where's, oh. That you're shutting down things that are not a necessity. Food is a necessity. Like, you can't dine in the restaurants, but you can do takeout. I don't takeout. <laughs> How and when did you meet Orlando? This comes from Nashika. Mmm. I'll make it really short because everyone's heard the story. We met on Facebook in a chat room <clears throat> for um, vegans. And then he, I was living in New York. He traveled from Colombia to New York to do a thing, a festival. And we met in person there and we kind of never left each other's side. It's kind of crazy. And we stayed friends for over a year and a half. We lived together, we were roommates. <clears throat> I traveled Central America with him. We were together for a year and a half and we did nothing in terms of, you know what, you know what. Like little bunny rabbits, we did nothing. It kind of just, ha it kind of grew into it. And that you're like, oh my gosh, you weren't into each other then. And well, I kind of prefer the way that we got into each other. Cause I've had exes where I look at you at the club, I'm like, ooh, you're, Foundation, your basis of liking each other's your looks. And again, I'm not saying I'm not attracted to my husband, I am. But I fell in love with him first before the physical stuff. Like, I didn't even see what he looked like down there until I, I'm very happy with how, you know, I won the jackpot. <laughs> but, and he says he won the jackpot with me down there, okay? <clears throat> you know, but we didn't go for that first. And I know that's more risky, and people want it now you know, get it on. But also, okay, it kind of worked out for us because we were eating very unhealthy, unbalanced diets, you know, whole vegan thing. We weren't eating any kind of fats. And so our hormones were really bad. He didn't even hit puberty till he was like 17. It was really weird. You'll see the photos of us when we first met. We were like this, this much height apart from each other. He didn't even hit puberty because he wasn't eating properly. Oh. Okay, I have to change the battery. So that's how we met. And uh, it's been happily ever after ever since. Okay, so that's that question. Again, shout out to Nakesha underscore Hope. Follow her Instagram. A O N A K E S H A underscore Hope. Next question comes from Ya. Ooh, that's a, that's a bad word. That's the N word. I can't even say your name. Sorry, no shout out for you. But she wants to know what you made you do your OnlyFans. Um, what made me do it was trying to make sure I was confident with how I looked when I gained all my weight. And that has really helped because for people to tell me that they're into it, not just like, oh yeah, I accept you, you're bigger and you're chubby, you're, you're unhealthy, oh well. It's like, oh, but I'm also still attracted to you. Like you can still be sexy and bigger. And that really helped my confidence. And also money. <laughs> like, okay. <clears throat> That's really nice. Um, I, that is my major source of income now. Thanks to that. Thanks to you guys who follow me there. Um, yeah, that's a great incentive. <laughs> and you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? And I always told myself, well, I can't get hired anywhere else now with, with what I've put out on the internet. So might as well keep going, go all the way. Next question comes from, it's Genesis with three S's. How do you feel about all the hate? P.S. I love you. Thank you. Um, oh, and someone responded and I kind of want to read it. Let me see what it says. I wish people went, oh, can't say that word. Beep him. People have been so rude over him. Honestly, the only hate comes from that one situation. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, well, we can't get, they're talking about specific things. But, oh, how do I deal with it? I just kept looking forward. You guys know I was in a little pickle. <laughs> but, um, 
did what I could. I, did, I felt like I did the best way to make deal with it. And um, I told the truth and um, I made apologies where they were needed and appropriate and yeah, they have to move on. And how do I deal with the hate that still comes my way? I don't read it. I just don't read it. That's the only way that it works for me. Um, I do read your guys' comments, but once they start getting negative, beep, click out. I'm gonna go watch some adult content. Bye. I got things to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, time to go take care of myself on my other site. Bye bye over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm a busy guy. I have a lot of goals, a lot of plans. I really wanna reach. Um, how many subs do I want? I don't even care about subs. I don't know. I just wanna keep going. Um, I enjoy my mukbang. I like talking to you guys. I like getting to know you and for you to get to know me. And I, I'm not gonna stop what I love because someone didn't like me you know okay what's your go-to oh that yeah okay what's this comes from don't some cheryl does it's cheryl what's your go-to comfort food um i would say jollibee but i don't live by jollibee so it's not really my go-to um in terms of orlando popeyes i like fried chicken a lot it's very comforting to me i don't know why um, also ramen noodles, spicy Korean ramen noodles. I just filmed a spicy noodle challenge on my ASMR channel. It's called Noodle King. Check it out. I ate all five packs, so I swallowed them up like a vacuum cleaner. That's a go-to comfort. And it's so odd to me because they make me in pain. They're very painful, but they're so tasty. And when I'm done, I'm like, oh, that was good. Let's do it again. <clears throat> kind of like an addiction. That's really not good. Um, um, here's the truth, too. I eat mukbangs every day of my life, every day of the year. <clears throat> Either on this channel, and you know, every day seems like a splurge. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Done. Every day seems like a treat. I'm gonna have some Powerade. Let's try this. Okay, let's just do my water. Um, so, I don't really crave comfort food as much because I'm satisfied all of my desires every single day of the year. And I'm also really full. Like, after I eat this food, I'm like, Whoop, okay, we're done. Like, there's no, I don't ever crave more food after a mukbang. If anything, I crave vegetables, fiber, avocados, which help bring down your cholesterol. You know, some healthy stuff. So maybe that's my comfort food. Healthy stuff. Okay. Um, here's a couple questions. It has a couple likes. This comes, comes from Nicole Woods. Hi, Nicole. She says, um, why do you sell your body? Why do you do food beep? Why do you record yourself crying? Well, the first question, why I sell my body? Because I can, and it's fun, and it's easy, and it brings me confidence, and it makes other people happy. And I get paid for it. Boo. And number two, why do I do food beep? Um, because I like to eat. <clears throat> Can't say that word starts with a P. It rhymes with corn. <sighs> corn. I mean, I just like to eat. Number four, uh, the other last question, why do you re record yourself crying? There's a few different, re I don't know which video you're talking about. Some of them I, re I record them because I get it off my chest, I feel better. Some of them I do it because it's in the heat of the moment. Some of them, they're in my mukbangs and I start out happy and I start crying in the middle of it. Well, I'm not gonna stop doing what I do. You know, I'm not gonna say, yeah, I'll show you the truth. Sometimes I do it to entertain people. Sometimes I do it to show myself how far I've come in life. I kind of treat it like a diary, put it all out there. You can't be embarrassed anymore if you put everything out there. Um, and I really do have this whole like cringe side to my brand but let's be real that's how i grew everything on youtube that's my appeal i'm like a little crazy a little cringy and um people want to see it and I, I have no problem showing it <laughs> you know what i mean like okay so that's why next question would you do a live mukbang this comes from my stony life hello i do them on my you now i have a live streaming account it's called you now.com slash nicocado avocado Which reminds me, I have to go live today. 
Next question. Um, what's your favorite place to eat? This comes from, from Sophia. Again, um, mm, my favorite place to eat, gosh, Jollibee's fried chicken. I really want to start doing some homemade stuff. Again, I can't cook. I'm really bad at it. So bad. Mmm. Mmm. These cheese bites. Lord. Um. So good. Let's put it in my favorite sauce back here. Oops. I'm starting to... I want to start doing some, like... Lasagna or mac and cheese, pancakes and waffles, homemade, or I don't know. Give me some ideas of more like homemade stuff. I can't cook though. That's the thing. I'm not, has to be kind of like you buy in the freezer section, you stick it in the oven and it's done. Like Costco, ready-made, like the dumplings. I'm not making those things by scratch, but I can heat them up. That's what I can do. Or let's do more French toast. I love French toast. You know, I've been, I've been doing lots of seafood boils, way more than ever before in my entire life. And that's really good. <clears throat> that's a good way for me to mix it up. I still like my carbs. Okay. What's your favorite band and song? This comes from BTS Lover. Um, BTS. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm blushing. Ah! <clears throat> My favorite. <laughs> Shh, focus. I don't really. <laughs> I don't have a favorite band. I've been listening to a lot of Billie Eilish, the same two songs, When the Party's Over and I Love You. I'm not really into her other ones. I guess her one with featuring that other guy. Da, da, oh, I can't sing it, shoot. But it's, it's a duet, it's like a, she's featured on his or he's featured on hers. When a holy, oh, <laughs> wait, that is not how it goes. I forget what, that one's good too, but. I like classical music, you guys. Last night before bed, I uh, listened to a Mendelssohn um, piano trio. No, it was a, it was a quint uh, quintet. It was a piano. Oh, wait, no, it's just... Listen, I must have been really tired. Sorry, one of my favorite violinists. Um, shout out to him. Should I send him some followers? I don't know. Um, Alexi Kenny. Uh, talk about skillful. Well, um, I watched his, uh, uh, well, you just Google him on YouTube, he has all, but I follow his Instagram, whatever, and his uh, YouTube channel, well, he doesn't have a channel, I don't think, but I was watching him play with a string quartet, a Mendelssohn quartet, and I watched the whole thing, it was like tw half an hour, 27 minutes, a half hour, and I watched from start to finish, I was so into it, I got goosebumps over and over, all such great musicians, the second violinist in that was very like, like, ooh, <laughs> he was very happy. But the violist was pretty good, um, which, you know, is rare. Oh, shoot. Here come the, the band geek is coming for me now. Um, sorry, guys. Anyways, yeah, I like classical music. That's my thing. That's what I grew up with, and that's what I enjoy. That's what I was trained in, and that's what I miss, actually. I really miss that part of me. <sighs> yeah. Do I have a TikTok? This comes from Molly Hunjan underscore. Um, no, I do not, and I don't plan on making one. Although, what's her name? <clears throat> the really famous girl? What's her name? Uh, Ch Charlie DiMaggio. Something like that. It's like an Italian last name. But her first name's Charlie. She's TikTok famous. She grew her social media following from this app. It's brand new. It's been out for like a year. Um, she has like 30 million followers. Anyways, I, I was actually on Tana Mojo. Shout out to Tana Mojo. Hi. 
I, I was on her live stream watching it, and she was like, she's like, you guys, Charlie just went live on Instagram Live. She had 55,000 followers, and all she did was bake a cake for an hour. And they sat there and watched her bake a cake, pick, pick a cake for an hour. And she's like, I need clout. Oh my god! And she had like 4,000 4,000 viewers. Tana Mojo did, and her live. Um, and just to put it in perspe perspective, I have 400 something thousand followers on my Instagram account. I'm verified. And if I go live, I have like a thousand people max, pretty much, at a given time. It depends on the time of day or whatever, but like I've never, it's like a thousand, one hundred, not even, barely a thousand, okay? She had 55,000. And I have a lot of followers on YouTube, you know? I have millions. If you add up all my channels, it's like three million. Um, so it's kind of like, wow, there's a lot of people out there not on YouTube or not watching me and Tana. <laughs> well, definitely not me. I'm the smallest of, of, of all these people. But, um, I mean, Tana is super famous and she she's funny. Um, you know, she's really downplaying herself, too. She's like, oh my god, I, I have no followers. <laughs> like, you still have 5,000, girly. Um, I'm lucky if I get 1,000. So... 800. Anyway, <clears throat> that's that. Actually, I'm curious. I actually do most of my live streams on my YouNow, not my um, Instagram, but there's not that many people on YouNow. Even the app in general. I like the most popular people have 100 viewers. So, I'm curious. I should go live right now, see how many it is. Oh, it's not a competition, but. Why am I talking about this? Oh, TikTok, yeah. And I actually, I didn't know anything about her. <clears throat> I don't even have the app on my phone, you guys. But I know she does these dances. Is she a professional dancer or is she just cute and she got lucky? I don't know. I mean, is she like a trained ballerina? Does she like come from an academy? I don't know. I've never tried to think about it. I don't think I've actually seen her dance. I mean, oh, I did see one thing on Twitter and she was just... But it was just like moving her hands around. So, I mean, again, it's dancing, I know. I'm not downplaying it, I'm just, I don't know. Everyone, it's a chance, you know what I mean? And she has taken off on that app. Anyway, so I started watching her YouTube videos. She only has four of them on her channel. Shout out to Charlie, D oh shoot, what's her that? Just do Charlie TikTok. And she's very pretty. She looks like that girl from um, Rip Girls, a Disney Channel original movie. Rip Girls, I love that. The girl in Hawaii. Hey Siri, please show me Rip Girls, Disney movie. Here's Rip Girls. She looks just- 13 year old Camilla Bell learns to surf while visiting Hawaii for the first time to see a plantation she inherited. She inherited? You little f <laughs> what a curse of her. She looks like she's five, 12. Oh my god, she looks just like Rip Girls. I'm about to tweet that. See if people like it or don't. I don't know. I thought it was a good movie. Um, Aw, oh, Disney made the best movies. I'm sorry, let's stay on track. I watched her <clears throat> YouTube video. She went to a fashion show in Milan. They flew her, flew her there and they gave her first class and put her in this really fancy looking hotel and all this bougie gifts and stuff. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I mean, because I feel like she was just a, you know, a regular person. I don't think she was on social media anyway. She made a TikTok and she, it just happened for her. So, and that's the dream, you know, that's what everyone wants. Everyone wants to be big on social media um, and not physically like me. <laughs> I mean, just like, you have numbers to your name. Um, and it, it is kind of like emotional because people question their worthiness in life based on how many people follow them. And that's really sad. I know Instagram for some accounts um, have gotten rid, of it, gotten rid of the likes like, you can't see how many likes the, a person has under their photos. Okay, who's my favorite YouTuber? This comes from... Oh, I already answered from you. Let's do someone else. Would I ever go back to vegan? This comes from Kyle. No, I would not. Um, I would definitely get healthier, but vegan, no. This comes from... Oh, I, I don't want to answer that. I'm back. The camera shut off. Next question comes from PJ Supreme. PJ underscore Supreme. Follow his Instagram. Well, should I be shouting him out? He left something kind of mean. He's like, when are you going to leave YouTube? <laughs> uh, well, three people liked it. Let's see which three people liked it. Sydney White Wolf. Alicia Homegirl. 
I don't know, we're blocking all these people. <laughs> we're blocking Sydney, we're blocking Alicia. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually doing it right now. Here I go. <gasps> Block, blocking Yana. You have been blocked. And then this person here. S Satan Psychic? Oh, that's bad. Block. We have block. Okay, well, I blocked everyone that liked that. That's mean. But let me answer the question because everyone wants to know. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There are days where I feel like I want to quit. Where someone asks me how to deal with the haters. Well, I don't have a healthy way of getting rid of it. My therapy, by the way, has been excellent. I kind of want to touch on it later. Remind me. Um, that's really been helping. But I don't really talk about haters with her. Just I'm embarrassed to. I don't know. I have talked about criticism, like bad feedback and how it makes me feel like I'm not good enough or people really think life would be better if I wasn't around, da da da, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I never specifically mentioned haters. But when will I quit YouTube? There's days where I feel like it and I always come back to it, A, because this money, this world runs on money. Did I say this money? This world runs on money and I'm not very hireable anymore. I kind of put all my eggs in one basket here on social media, especially now that I do other stuff on the side that you guys know about. Um, it, it would be an issue for any employer to have someone that's noticeable. I mean, every time I go out, I get recognized. And I'm not saying it to brag, I'm not acting like I'm Oprah Winfrey, but it happens, okay? It happens all the time. When me and Chelsea Lynn went to San Diego, we went out for like two hours. We went to like thrift store, a plant shop, the ocean. We got stopped 11 times, 10 times. And those were just people who had, who were, you know, came up to us and said something. And some of them were like, oh my God, we're so nervous. We didn't know what to say, but we saw you when we decided to say hi. I remember one time I was at Home Depot and I went inside. Someone ran from the parking lot into the store, down the aisles to find me. And, you know, a lot of people are not going to be like that. They're going to see me, notice me, but they're not going to say anything because they're too nervous or they don't know what to say or they don't want to be awkward or... You know what I mean? So, it happens. I'm not saying to brag. So, I kind of would put any employer in like a hot seat to be like, oh, say I work for Applebee's. Um, and one out of every 50 people I serve knows me and they don't like me because of whatever they see about me on the internet. It ruins their experience. They might want to change tables. They might not want to talk to me. They might complain. It might distract the other customers because they're taking photos of me. I don't know. You know, it, who knows? And it's just... Um, I feel like I'm never gonna leave YouTube now. Um, and that's one side of it. Obviously, everyone has to find a job in this world. The other side of it is that, well, right now I really enjoy it. Um, but I'm, I want to use what I have, followers. You know, you're here asking me questions. Why? Like, why do you care about me? You know, like, why are you people here? use this for something good and um, I'm so inspired by people who give back like money and stuff I've never done that I'm not in a position you guys I'll tell you right now I saw Jeffree Star a couple days ago he was giving out or he was trending on Twitter I don't know exactly what he did he was giving people money who needed it and you know Jeffree Star has been known to write $30,000 checks to go fund me's on a blink of an eye you know like boom there you go um even a thousand bucks to him is like dollars I'm not at that level, but if I ever get to that level, I would love to do something like that. You guys know I want to fund a music school. I want to fund a music program in um, city schools or any kind of school, really. Have an auditorium that's nice and the seats are comfortable. You know, music is my main passion. Um, even though people don't know me for music, it's kind of what I love and something, you know. So I don't want to leave you to... To answer your question, PJ, because I feel like I could do a lot of good with these followers and this amount of attention I have on the internet. And also, I enjoy what I do. Everyone has bad days. And if I tell you again that I'm leaving YouTube, I might, but I might not. Because unless I found a sugar daddy, and I'll let you know. <laughs> then I could. Then I can. But, um, yeah. I love your character online, but I know you're really good. Thank you, Aaron Russ. Um... Shout out to Aaron underscore Russ. Someone's going li live and it keeps on telling me little no notifications. Um, let's see what here. Uh, favorite YouTuber. This comes from loser.isabel underscore. Favorite YouTuber. That's so hard, you guys. Oh. Probably Trailer Trash Tammy or Carly Steele. 
Um, I actually watch. I w okay. I wish Shirley Charles Stanley posted more. She doesn't. I've watched all her videos because she doesn't. You know, it's like once a week maybe. Uh, but Carly Steele's vlog channel. Check it out, you guys. I was watching her clean one day. I was watching her. She just does this mundane stuff, and I can't stop watching. <laughs> I don't know, it's, and I'm not the only one. There's like 100,000 people watching her clean, cook, fart. I just farted. <laughs> oh, you guys would watch me fart. I guarantee if I open up a channel called Nick's Farts, there'd be at least 10,000 views of it. You know it, okay. Oh, everyone's asking about the juicer from Instagram. This comes from Tuan. Well, it's a very long story. It's a very complicated story. Let's just say they're a limited edition. They're from 19, 1966 from Italy, I believe. They're somewhere in Europe. I think, no, I'm almost positive they're Italian. Um, they're very hard to find. Orlin had to go to auctions. Orlin had to special order them. Orlin had to pay somebody to receive it in the UK from Italy and then pay the person from the UK to send it to Florida and then pay his mom to send it from Florida to Colombia. Like that juicer, we spent probably $250 shipping that juicer around the world. They're a very limited edition. That's something Orlin loves. Um, and they're discontinued, I'm almost positive. So we're very fortunate that we have that little cranker squeezer. Because Orlin, if you don't know, um, really likes fruit. We, he and I met, if you guys don't know, over fruit, because of fruit. It's kind of funny. We were into raw foods and fruitarians and um, eating fruits and vegetables, which had really good... Um, qualities about it. I mean, it's a great thing for the environment, the whole idea of it. And um, again, I, w I honestly would do something kind of similar, maybe, but with fish and some meat here and there, like you definitely need it. You don't need a lot of it, but you can't, you know, collagen, DHA, EPAs, minerals that you don't get in fruit. Like you need something absorbable, you know, assimilating. Um, but anyways, we're not going to talk about health because I'm a junk food eater now. But, um, anyways, we met over fruit. That's very special to us. That's how I became Nick Ocado Avocado. And he used to be called Orland Orange Boy. <laughs> it sounds so corny. Um, but he loves oranges. Oranges are one of his top favorite fruits in the world. And so Orlin has gone through many orange juicers. Hand-squeezed ones. Ones that you go like this. Juicy machines. You put the whole orange in and it gets squashed. Out of all the juicers in the wor world, the one that we have is his absolute favorite. Um, it's his absolute favorite. And um, I like it. It's easy for me to use. He doesn't let me use it, though, you know, because I'm very rough with stuff and I break stuff because I'm very clumsy. He does not let me touch his orange juicer. <laughs> like, if I want to get, if, he'll, if I give him a reason to divorce me, I'll touch his orange juicer, okay? <laughs> That's just the thing I cannot touch. Mmm. <clears throat> But yeah, I was getting a lot of people asking me on my Instagram. I'm going to keep on posting it on my Instagram stories, so follow me there on my Instagram if you want to see what everyone's talking about. Literally, I got like, I swear, 500 messages about that orange juicer in a day. Even some YouTuber friends um, texted me, were like, that orange juicer, where'd you get it from? I was like, oh yeah, that's Orleans, it's Italian, it's vintage, you can't get it. So, um, yeah, we're very fortunate to have something so special like that. Um, okay, that's kind of mean because there are people who have diabetes. Someone says, what is di how does it feel to have diabetes? I do not have it, but I'm, I'm fortunate. I try to make educated, smart decisions off camera to make sure I don't get it by eating foods that combat what I'm eating. Um, I personally believe in that. I know, well, I don't want to say his name. I don't know. There's other people on YouTube that will eat a lot of food and then that's all they'll eat for the day. And they won't eat anything. They won't eat fiber. They won't eat vegetables or fruits. They're just gonna eat junk and that's it. And then just drink water for the rest of the day till their next video. Um, I personally think that fruits and vegetables, not only do you need them, but they help fight off. Like your blood would be better with it than without it. Um, and that's kind of proven. So anyways, I don't have diabetes and I, it's nothing to make fun of and there's people that do. And if you ask them what it's like to have it, they're going to say you, they're going to tell you it sucks. <clears throat> Everyone's asking about my weight. I'm starting to get kind of full. 
When do you exercise? This comes from Hector. Hello. I exercise... I want it to be every day, but honestly, it kind of it kind of averages to every other day. I go on the treadmill for about 30 minutes at a time, sometimes an hour. I like to watch YouTube videos. I like to watch Judge Judy. Uh, Judge Judy, who's all over now, but I enjoy watching Judge Judy, catching up on some YouTubers, watching the news. I watch both CNN and Fox News. Um, it's very fun for me to like take an event and hear it on ABC and then go hear it on Fox. And then here on MSNBC, it, I love it. When I'm on the airplane, um, they have Fox News, Fox and Friends. They have MSNBC, ABC, CNN. Um, when I was on the airplane le leaving San Diego a couple weeks ago, um, that was right when President Trump, what did he do? He gave his speech announcing that, you know, it's an epidemic, da, da, da. Um, and I would just sit there and I would flip through all the different news stations to hear their perspective of, was it a good address? Was he missing some stuff? Was it, did it make people feel better? Did people feel like, oh God, this is good, you know? And I would go back and forth and I almost felt so judged by the people behind me. Like, if they saw me watching CNN, like, ew, you're watching CNN. Or if they saw me watching Fox News, oh, you're watching. Like, I always felt like I would have been judged as a person because I was watching my news from a certain station. Um, but I was going between them because then they would go on commercials and I, I like to hear the different perspectives. So we're not talking about politics, but anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about this. What was the question? What do you exercise? How did I talk about this from exercising? Jeez, I need to exercise my mind better. I can't stay on topic. What's your least favorite food? This comes from young blue Two. Hello. My least favorite food, I don't like sweets. I mean, they're kind of good, like a piece of chocolate, but I get very sick from it very fast. Maybe that's why I don't have, well, okay, let's not say that. I eat foods that will give people sicknesses, but um, I really don't, I really don't like to eat sweets. I don't like to eat beans too much. I don't like cottage cheese. I don't like beans, cottage cheese, sweets. Hawaiian food, oh god, I hate saying that, but I went to Hawaii with Orlin for like a little vacation and we had Hawaiian food for the first time and we had the taro and we had, I don't know, I wasn't a fan, I would never buy it again. And we went to the most authentic place before you say, well, probably wasn't good. No, we went to, I could tell you where we went to. Should I tell you where we went to? Like honestly, um, it was very authentic. It was so authentic. It wasn't a luau or whatever you call it, but um, it was very authentic. I need them to translate everything. I'm like, what's this? What's that? Huh? What's that? I, w I was not a fan. Favorite animated Disney princess? This comes from Lisa Rose 94 I love this question. Um, hey, Siri. Show, show me a list of Disney princesses. I don't really. Disney Princess, also called the Princess Line, is a media franchise and toy line owned by the Walt Disney Company. You're you're not you helping. Hear more? No, goodbye. You're not helping me. List of Disney princesses. Let's see. I think of Ariel, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Jazz. Oh, okay. Here we go. So number one, we have Ariel from The Little Mermaid. We have Jasmine from. Um, Aladdin. We have Princess Aurora. Where is she from? Rapunzel. I never really connected with Rapunzel. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Marita. Who's that? Tiana. Who's that? Cinderella. I know her. Pocahontas. Mulan. Oh, I like Mulan. Oh, she was a tough girl. I love that movie. I actually love all of them. Snow White and that's I don't like that. That movie is very boring. Done. This was delicious. I did a lot of talking, but I also did a lot of eating. I ate one of everything and I finished. Um, I guess these were my favorites. Speaking of, I don't like beans. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat chili cheese, which has beans in it. I'm, I'm such a hypocrite. I also ate almost all of my um, French toast sticks. Bye. This was great. This was a lot of fun.